Hey guys, what's up? Fatality Cube here or Alex, and I'm back making another video of the Lenovo ThinkPad C420. As you can see, I have it here on my table, laying there, sitting, waiting for the review. So let's start this review actually. Let's look from the top of the case. You know, it looks very nice. Um, it is scratch resistant from the top. No, it does have a really scratches. I mean, it was used for five years, but. It is crash resistant, so it still looks nice. You have the nice looking Lenovo logo on the left and on the right you have ThinkPad logo. And of course on the top uh, right side uh, next to the hinge, you to the metal hinge, you have the indicators, power, uh, battery and sleep. So that's very nice to have there, you know, very useful thing, very useful. Uh, but if we look at the bottom of the case, which is uh, very important, the bottom of the case. Uh, we have all the connectors. No, one of the most important connectors we have is the docking station connector, which is if you really want to get docking station, you can get one. Terra like uh, sour fur bridge, but still they should be good looking for like 50 bucks probably. So very useful. Other than that, really there's no other connectors. I mean, at the bottom, that's the only thing you have there. Uh, of course, with with that, uh, you actually have uh, the cool things. Yeah, you could unplug the battery, just uh, put put a little hinge to the right side, and you can unplug the battery, which looks very nice. And you can pull out the optical drive. Yeah, so you don't really require any equipment to take out the optical drive or the battery. That's kind of useful, right? I mean, that should be useful. I mean, because you can unplug the power, uh, you can unplug uh, the optical drive and replace it with another, you can place another hard drive. You just need a, a special, um, what do you call that? A little special like casing for that, that looks like an optical drive, but actually it's, it's for putting an SSD or a hard drive in it. So that should be awesome. So, and you don't need any tools, it's pretty easy. So you can look out, look it up on eBay actually. So it's not that, it's not that hard actually. Just look it up on eBay. The front of the, the laptop, uh, very sleek, very nice. Um, nothing too special here. Uh, you have the little uh, opening uh, mechanism, it opens up the laptop and you get inside the laptop on this side. So this is the front of the laptop, that's how it looks like. Uh, then, of course, we have uh, that we have. What else do we have? And then we have the uh, the right side, I guess. So oh, yeah, the right side. So the right side actually has a combo audio mic jack. That's what it has on this side. The optical drive itself, Wi-Fi uh, on and off button. Uh, you have. Um, the 34 millimeter express card slot. Uh, you have the card reader, uh, USB port, USB plus, eSATA plus USB port, and Camson lock or something. Yeah, I think that's how you call that thing. Of course, on the left side, we have um, the exhaust port, uh, mm, the, the heat exhaust uh, port basically. With exhaust the heat, or maybe it's the, it's basically it's where the fan is. Of course, the next we have the VGA port. Uh, then we have um, the internet port, display port, another USB port, and the hard drive um, access area. I guess it's. I mean, it's kind of easy to access the hard drive for free. You will need a Phillips screwdriver for it, but still, you can access it pretty easily. So there's no problems with that. So yeah, so that's pretty easy to access it from that side. Um, then of course we're gonna look at the back side of the laptop. Uh, here we have, um, I don't know what we have on the left side actually. There's like this little thingy that I, like there's something in it. I'm not sure what's inside there, but like when I can hit it and I hear sound, I don't know what that is. Next thing is, the power USB, which is uh, if you want to charge your phone, your 
uh, something basically whatever you want to charge you can plug in plug it in there like your iPhone or something and it will charge it quicker no that's what it's meant for because you have the battery again and you have the and you have the power connector of course see for your power brick and another exhaust port maybe intake port intake uh, intake or exhaust I don't know which one of those is there like I tried to Google for this but I did not find an answer is that exhaust or intake port if you want to call it port so yeah I don't know what that is even personally I don't know like I actually don't know um, of course with this laptop um, we have a lot of other things to kind of go for um, uh, of course I'll pull up all the specs right now on the screen uh, because no my the one I have right now I upgraded it so it doesn't have the same um, the same specs I guess you pretty much can say so the process I have right now is the Intel Core i7 2670QM four cores uh, eight threads uh, what else is there of course we have I have eight gigs of RAM uh, upgraded from four gigs of RAM I upgraded to eight gigs of RAM because that's how much I need uh, because four gigabytes of RAM is not enough actually so I decided to upgrade the laptop a little bit you know give it a little bit more and of course I have a 250 gigabyte SSD from Cruiser or Crucial yeah Crucial 250 gigabyte SSD from Crucial. Um, bit enough space. Uh, of course, I would probably the next upgrade I would do is probably upgrade the SSD, give it a little bit more um, storage because that's how much I need. Uh, 250 gigabytes is not enough actually. I'll just say that it, it is actually not enough. So that's definitely something I'm gonna upgrade pretty soon. So yeah, of course, let's uh, look at some things like for example. Uh, some of the things I promised to look into is um, uh, IDA 64. So of course we want we want to look into that. You know everything else really. If you want to know more information on this, like there's like a lot of other cool s tricks with the laptop. Uh, there's like security chips, all that stuff. But most of the things I will leave in the description so you can read about it if you really want to. You know because you really need to know what that is like I can just say security chip question is what is a security chip it's on the motherboard so see that's the thing you need to read about that or Google about that but I'll leave the description I'll leave a link in the description to the full specifications of the laptop I was we're gonna run IDA 64 um, I want to see the temperatures of IDA 64 of course see uh, the temperatures as idle are pretty low uh, as you can see, it's like uh, 40 degrees. And when we turn the IDA 64 on, so it can run the process at 100%, we have the temperatures over uh, 78, 79. So it, the maximum temperatures were, uh, what was it, like 95 degrees. 97 degrees, 98. Yeah, the maximum reached 98 degrees actually. That was the maximum it reached. So it didn't reach 100 uh, degrees actually through the whole test. I even uh, ran it a little bit more. Of course, in the video, I will not be showing that because it will take a lot of time. It could take up to like hours of just running that test. But pretty much, I ran after that. Pretty much, it was like. It didn't reach 98 degrees I actually reached 95 degrees that was the maximum it reached after I decided to test it again so yeah nothing special over there so pretty good temperatures you know 100% usage of the processor and 98 degrees 95 degrees is pretty pretty normal uh, of course I decided to run a couple of games um, one of the games I decided to run was uh, League of Legends and I was getting pretty good performance. I was getting around uh, s the lower 
low drops were like um let me just remember right now what was the low drops for the it was like uh, 50 fps was the lowest drop i actually had and it could sometimes it reached around 90 fps um the temperatures were pretty good running do uh running the game the temperatures were pretty good uh it was uh, it was reaching around 80 degrees max 80 degrees temperature went so that was pretty cool uh of course the settings for the game were pretty no nothing special really they were the screen resolution was 13 1366 by 768 not too big um i was running it full screen uh, the graphic settings were medium to high the character quality was high effects quality effects quality was high environment quality was high and shadows were medium uh everything else was advanced i didn't do much i basically i didn't do anything I, it just automatically set up all the settings for me basically the the recommend i guess by the laptop or by the game so it ran pretty good you know 50 to 60 50 to 90 fps uh, so the minimum was 50 fps so that was pretty cool no problems there if you really want you know if you're getting this laptop you can run league of legends no problems you actually will run the game at a you know with good performance i mean with good quality and everything so no problems there uh, of course the next game i decided to kind of run was uh, csgo uh, because you no know, that's something we need to test out you know maybe you are a fan of csgo uh, of course it, with csgo the lowest drops i had was around 40 fps i think that was the lowest drops um yeah 40 fps and the maximum is for some reason it reached like like at some points you can actually see in the video i re the fps reached like 150 150 fps which was kind of weird but it never stays at 150 fps it's just it's like a little quick it quickly goes up and then goes back to normal so the lowest were 40 fps so that's pretty good guys that's pretty good for csgo um the temperatures again were reaching around 80 degrees so there's nothing bad about that i mean 80 degrees pretty 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 okay i'll, I'll, I'll say that you know nothing nothing bad about that of course the game is not running on high settings or anything it's running on if i remember somewhere on medium uh medium and some stuff is running on low so yeah again i did not touch anything the i just turned on csgo it did everything automatically for me because i guess the uh, the game understands that the laptop is not powerful or the graphics cards the integrated graphics card is not powerful enough to run this game to you know like on max settings so that's why it did everything for me so yeah but yeah that's pretty much all i did with the laptop all the tests i did so there's nothing else i can show you um i ran 964 two couple of games and that's pretty much all but let's go so that's pretty much done with the review part of the laptop but let's get into the whole uh which which version should you purchase of this laptop and and to to answer one of the questions should you upgrade the cpu yes you should upgrade it because the temperatures difference is not high you know with the i5 i actually tried it out with iris i ran the i5 with iris 64 it, it got this it actually reached 100 degrees at 100 percent uh it actually throttled like crazy that uh, i even stopped the test because i was not really happy with it uh, i don't know why it was reaching no it was probably because i didn't replace the thermal paste when i ran the, the test and after that i did replace the thermal paste but i never ran the test again so i don't know i don't know if that will if i ever test it again but it did reach 100 degrees so i don't know but yeah but if you ask me upgrade the processor runs pretty good you know you can run games even better and some programs rendering editing videos works really well i i i'm gonna edit this video on this laptop and render the video on this laptop so 
and it works perfectly fine. So I'm pretty happy with the sub top and the upgrade. But uh, which version sh you should buy? In my here's the thing: everybody has their own opinion. If you really need the graphics card, like the NVIDIA NVS 4200M with one gigabyte of uh, video memory VRAM, if you really need that graphics card on the laptop, go for that one. Purchase it if you really need it. But in my personal experience and my personal opinion and personal experience from working in the computer service, I understood that to, ha to have a higher lifespan of your laptop, you better off going with the integrated graphics card. Always. That's the best option. It's It has a higher lifespan than the one with the graphics card. Because that graphics card, whatever you do, cooling, the time comes and the graphics card will die. The time comes and the video chip will die. The video chip will die at some point. And since this laptop is like five years old, I wouldn't be surprised if you purchase the laptop and like, you know, you're gonna purchase it off hands and it might actually die in like a month or three months, who knows, a year. So yeah, video chips are always, always like a, one of those things that you're not sure about them. There's like, like a scary thing, you know, personally. You know, I've seen enough laptops to understand that, so I would recommend going with without the graphics card, without the video chip. So yeah, just go with the integrated gra video chip or integrated graphics card and you're good to go. You can play some games, CSGO, League of Legends. Uh, you can watch videos at 1080p 60 frames per second, which you cannot do with the i5. The i5 dual core cannot handle it too much. Some of the videos, like gaming videos, it cannot handle. Like normal videos, you can actually watch 60 FPS, 1080p 60 FPS, but videos that are like, for example, you're watching a video of like someone playing uh, CSGO and it's 1080p 60 FPS, it will not handle that video. It will be laggy. Trust me, I tried it. So yeah, so pretty much that will be my kind of like deep, kind of like ending to the video, you know, go with for the one without the graphics card. So yeah, that's my personal opinion and my personal experience from computers. So yeah. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget, don't forget to kind of to leave a comment what you think uh, of this review. Uh, tell me your opinion, which one would you choose? That's my, my that's my choice. Without the video chip is my choice. The one which which I have right now is the best choice. You you cannot go wrong with this one. So yeah, that's watching guys. You know, thanks for watching and see you next one. I guess if there will be, I, I am I did order a couple of things that I want to try for a video. So hopefully I'll be making vi another video of that. But yeah, like I said, see you next one and bye guys.